The Bloodstone tile sequence, while definitely absolutely 100% visually stunning, to me just have never really felt actually like a Bond tile sequence. For me, it feels a lot like Quantum of Solace's tile sequence. The ingredients are there, but it's just lacking that certain thing, that certain thing that makes these wonderful Bond tile sequences what they are. The use of diamonds is really great, however, it just makes me feel like I'm watching a tile sequence to a number of different other games or movies. For me, I always feel a tile sequence really does need to flow. There needs to be a bit of a narrative flow. And this one just jumps there, 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 there. It's absolutely everywhere. There is no natural progression with it. And then you have that spit with those armed guards appearing over the diamonds. There's just no synergy to it. Now, there is one bit in this tile sequence that just really actually bugs me, where they're basically trying to imitate the Casino Royale tile sequence when someone gets killed. In that sequence, they turn to either spades or clubs. Here, it's diamonds. And I'm just watching this thinking, this has already been done. This is, you know... Normally when they redo something like this, they try to add a different spin on it. Here it's just like, yeah, we're intentionally copying that. Now, the song, well, honestly, again, I just think it just sounds so generic. This isn't really a Bond song or really a Bond game song. For me, it just, there isn't anything really strikingly brilliant or memorable about it. I really honestly can't even remember it, even when I'm making this review. So overall, this sequence to me as a Bond video game title sequence is okay, but as a Bond title sequence, it's bad. It's forgettable, and for me, that's just one of the worst things I could say about it.